how should we shop to eat in a more alkaline environment? So first of all, we look at something like broccoli, crisp and green, every color of a fruit or a vegetable has different phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals. Their array adds different arrays of alkalinity. It's organic fennel or celery, now they're both very alkalinizing. Where we fall into trouble is when we become acidic throughout the day we crave. When we crave, we tend to want to eat processed food. What I like people to do is when they go to work is chop up some red pepper sticks, celery sticks, fennel sticks, some carrot sticks. Another way to add alkalinity to our snacks, because our snacks become very acidifying, is to take a yam or a sweet potato using a stainless steel grater. We can add them to salads raw but little specks of color so they're easy to eat and they're very moist. Vegetables that are cooked still remain alkaline. But the more we cook them, the more nutrients we lose the vitamins. So crunchy tender is the rule. Whenever we cook a vegetable, try to leave it crunchy tender. So the deeper the color, the more minerals, the more alkalizing. 25% of our diet by volume should be acidifying foods. It's not one is good and one is bad. It's the balance between them, the fish section. So if we have wild salmon or halibut, they are still proven to be clean sources of protein. It is the fat that we want from these foods also, so we want to bake them and baste them to put the fat back on for the omega-3 fat. Great for our brain, great for our moods, great for our eyes, and great for our hearts. When we come to this section that we pick raw, unsalted seeds and nuts, and we can see that we can have a variety of choices without the skins or the skins on. We want to leave the skins on because the skins contain a lot of the minerals that are alkalinizing for the human body. So what are the acidifying foods? Animal protein, plant-based protein, grains, fats, sugars and sweeteners. So if we eliminate sugar from our diet and most sweeteners, we have a good chance of getting healthy acidic foods. Other foods are very alkalinizing to our body. We want to balance. So the rule of thumb is at the end of any given day, our food choices should be that 75% of the foods we eat by volume should be alkalinizing foods. 25% of our diet by volume should be acidifying foods. It's not one is good and one is bad. It's the balance between them. Mm -hmm.